Hello, everybody. I hope everyone is staying warm. I have this Florida girl is freezing. <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to go over creating your automation schedule. This is using the most current version of the app, um, which I updated, I think it was yesterday. Feels like a week ago, but it was yesterday. Okay, from the home screen, click the shortcuts tab which is right next to the little home icon. Okay, now we're in the shortcuts panel. Now the first thing I wanna go over is group control. Okay, I use basic group control. Now the reason being, here I'll click on groups. All right, from the top right hand corner, click those little squares and then click group and I'm gonna hit create. All right, now there's two different types of groups. Same model group control and basic group control. Same model is if you're selecting lights um, that are the, the exact same model. Let's say you have two sets of permanent light pros on your house and that's all you have. You can set them up as same model group control. Now basic group control is you can mix and match. So you can combine any of your Govi lights into one basic group control. Now, I recommend for everyone, <laughs> even if you only have, let's say one set of permanent lights pros on your house or two sets, always select basic group control. The reason being basic group control prioritizes Wi-Fi, whereas same model group control prioritizes Bluetooth. Well, where that comes into an issue is let's say you're at work and it's five o'clock and you have your light set to turn on. If you are not within range of Bluetooth, your automation schedule is not going to work properly. It's not going to kick on most of the time. So basic group control, since it prioritizes Wi-Fi, you could be, I don't know, over in France on vacation and you can go ahead, your automation schedule will kick on and you can control your lights um, from anywhere that you have a Wi-Fi signal, so. Now, the only instance it's a little bit different is if let's say you have an Alexa sitting at home uh, and you have a schedule set up with Alexa to turn your lights on. Well, that's different because, you know, it's, it's talking to the Alexa and that's at home within range of your lights. But I'm going, I'm assuming that not everybody has an Alexa, such as myself. So I always use basic group control for that very reason. Most of the time I hear people say, I have an automation schedule set up. Why aren't my lights turning on? Well, it's usually the type of group control setting they have is the culprit. So I just wanted to go over that first. So to save yourself, save you some headaches. All right, now I'm gonna get out of there. All right, from the same location, we can just click auto run. This is where we would create our automation schedule. Now I have a few different ones set up. Ignore mine, we're just gonna start from scratch. So, where it says auto run, click the blue create button. Now you have a few options. You can select weekly by date, sunrise, sunset. I always click weekly and I just adjust my times because you know, it's, it's easy that way. It's not a problem. All right, now we need to create a name. So we're gonna call this test. Okay, now I created it by clicking the blue pencil icon where it says, please enter a name, hit confirm. Okay, now we have named it. We are on timer weekly and it's set to repeat every day of the week, which is fine for this schedule. Now we're gonna want to click add a time point. So where it says add a time point, hit the blue plus sign and we're gonna pick our on time. So let's just say 5.30, now I'm using military time, oops. So I'm gonna click 1730, which is 530. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm on Wheel of Fortune. Okay, hold on, all right. Not Wheel of Fortune, uh, price is right. <laughs> Spinning that wheel. Okay, now we're at, we've got our time point set, hit confirm. And now where it says activate action, we're gonna hit the blue plus sign. And now we're gonna pick our lights. I'm going to select um, all of my lights except for my ground lights. 
those are actually, I'm going getting ready to pack up for the season because my grass is starting to grow. So I will pick my permanent lights and my light bulbs. This is what I have set outside. So, all right, hit next. Okay, from here, you have enable all, disable all, custom. We're gonna click custom. And now we're going to where start at the top where it says left permanent lights. I'm gonna click the arrow. And this is where we're gonna tell our lights what we want them to do at 530. Okay, you have different options. Custom, which is what I 99.9% .9 of the time use. Or you have snapshot. Now this is if you have made a DIY and you like, for instance, let's say you click the finger sketch shortcut icon and you saved it as a snapshot. This is where you would select your snapshot. So I don't use snapshot personally. I always save them as a DIY, but I wanted to show you where you would find it and how you would you just select which one you want to come on. Sleeping, I don't use because this is my outdoor lights. So, all right, so I'm gonna go back to custom. Now, first thing first, we want to select our brightness. So I'm gonna have them come on 100%. Okay, we, so you see it selected to on. We adjusted our brightness. Now we have to pick one of these four options. You can only pick one. Color, which is if you want just a specific color. Scene are the Govi preloaded scenes. There's all different categories. You would just select one of those. DIY and color temperature. Color temperature is just that. You can adjust what color temperature um, you want them to come on. I always do, great, now I picked that, now it's gonna come on. <laughs> I always pick uh, DIY. So everything I create, I make a DIY for. It's just the way I've always done it, so I find it easiest. All right, so for this, I'm going to pick my New Year's DIY that I made. I'm gonna hit confirm. Okay, now you see that since I selected DIY, that color temperature went away because you can only pick one. All right, so now I'm gonna hit confirm because everything is done. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing for my right lights. Turn the brightness up, go to DIY, pick the same DIY, hit confirm. There we go. And now my light bulbs, I'm gonna have those, I'm just gonna leave those at 50% brightness because I have the 1000 lumens and my goodness, they are bright. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave them at 50%. That's more than sufficient. All right, now I could, I have the same options. I could pick a DIY if I created a DIY for my light bulbs, um, which you can do. Um, but for this, I'm just gonna pick color. Now I created that New Year's uh, DIY, so I know exactly what color I picked. I created a custom color using hex codes to come up with this color, and I will drop a link in the description on how to create custom colors using hex codes. So this way you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, so I've selected my gold color, hit confirm. And I'm just going to quickly do the exact same thing for all my other light bulbs. So let's go through this quickly as possible. Oops, I forgot to click brightness, sorry. Confirm. All right. Brightness, color. Okay. All right. Now I'm looking at everything, making sure it's good. Yep, left side, everything's correct. Those are the same, same color brightness for my light bulbs. Now I'm going to hit save. All right, so now we have selected all of this to come on at 5.30 p.m. Now let's say I want my lights to switch over to accent lights at a certain time. We can do that, not a problem. Where it says at a time point, hit the plus sign again. Now I'm gonna set them to come on, let's just say, it doesn't like to let you select exactly midnight, so I'm just gonna hit 12.01. All right, hit confirm. 
and then activate action. And it's basically the same thing. So I'm going to select what I want, which lights, and hit next. And then the same thing, we're going to go over to custom. And then I'm going to start with my left permanent lights, hit the arrow. And first thing I want to do is select my brightness. This is my accent lights, so I'm going to leave them at 50% so they're not super bright. All right, now I made a DIY for my accent lights. Um, so that's what I'm going to select. Okay, I have put them in a sec my security tab, but most people have a default tab. I'll go over in another video how to make custom folders and move things around. But for this, um, we're just going to assume that it's under your default folder because that's where everything goes unless you tell it otherwise and everyone has a default folder. So this is where I made these. Okay, I picked my brightness, picked my DIY, hit confirm. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the right. I'm going to do this as quickly as possible, guys, so the video is not like two hours long. <laughs> anyway. And my light bulbs. We'll leave it at 50% brightness, color. Now my accent lights happen to uh, match that exact same color that I used for my... Uh, New Year's Eve DIY, but anyway, I confirm. I'm just repeating the exact same steps. It's easy. It's just tedious, especially if you have a lot of different lights. Mine is uh, mainly my light bulbs. But, all right, 50% color. Gold. Brightness, color. Gold. All right, hit confirm. Okay, now I'm checking, making sure everything looks good. And I didn't reverse my lights. <laughs> All right, yep, yep. All right, I'm at save. Okay, now so far, this is what we have for our schedule. We have our New Year's Eve DIY and the light bulb color choices. It's come on, coming on at 530. And then I have it set to switch over automatically at 1201 in the morning a.m. All right, now we need to tell it to turn off. Otherwise, they're going to stay on all day. All right, now it says at a time point. We're going to hit plus again. And I'm just going to select to 7 a.m. Hit confirm. Now, this is much faster. All right, where it says activate action, hit the plus sign. And I'm going to pick the exact same lights I selected to turn on. I'm going to select those all, hit next, go over to custom, start with the top one, hit the arrow. Now all we have to do with this is hit off <laughs> and confirm and do it for each one, off, confirm. Because we're not, that's all we're telling it to do is turn off. All right, let's do that real quick. Off, confirm, off, confirm. Okay, everything looks good. Double check. Yep, they're all set to off. Hit save. Okay, now this is our schedule. And I'm just double checking. Everything looks the way I want it. We have, again, our DIY at 530. Switching to accent lights at 12.01 a.m. And then everything off at 7 a.m. All right, now I'm going to hit save. Okay, now I'm going to hit that back arrow at the top left. And you can see that is the schedule we just created called test. Now, I, you can have multiple ones on, but you don't want them on on the same time. So otherwise, your lights are going to be like, what is going on? I don't know what to do. The only time you would want to have, let's say, two different schedules running at the same time is if you don't have them set to every day. Like if you just have something... Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays doing something, and then the other days doing something else. But if you're using every day, just have one turning on, so not to confuse your lights. <clears throat> now that's pretty much it. Um, one more thing I'll show you is 
if you want to make sure that your DI, uh, your automation schedule is correct, if you click back on that automation schedule, now I'm going to scroll down to my first setting, my New Year's Eve one. If you hit that little symbol that looks like, uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's like a piece of paper with an eyeball. That's like preview. That used to be the preview button. And then it's going to turn my lights on right now, eventually. <laughs> my signal, there it goes. It just now turned my outside lights on to that. So it's in preview mode. Okay. And that's basically it. That's just to make sure that it's on, you know, set up exactly how I want it to be. And you can do that for each one of them. I can do that for off. Oh, to quickly turn them all off. Okay. Now that's basically it. Now just to reiterate how to get to your automation schedule. Click the shortcuts tab next to the home button. Click the four squares in the top right corner. Go to auto run and there is your automation schedule. So you can change it. Um, you can also delete it. So I'll, I'll just delete this one since I don't need it. I'm going to click on test. And right at the top right hand corner, I would just hit the little trash can. But this is also where you can make any changes. From here, just make sure you hit save when you're done. But I'm just going to delete this out of here and turn my regular one back on. Okay, guys, I hope this helps. Um, again, look into the description for any related links that I'll post um, that I mentioned in the video. So feel free to comment if you have any questions at all. I always read them and I always reply. And please subscribe and click the little bell icon to be notified of any videos I upload. I'm going to be doing more than just tutorials because there's only so many things I can teach as far as the app goes. So I'll be doing product reviews, um, all kinds of stuff. So, all right. Have a good night.